Hey everyone, welcome back to another Circuit Basics video tutorial. Today I'll be explaining how to set up the DHT11 Digital Humidity and Temperature Sensor on the Raspberry Pi. This is one of my favorite sensors. It's really easy to set up, it's cheap, and it only needs one wire to send data to the Pi. First I'll show you how to connect it, then I'll show you how to use it in programs written in C and Python. By the end of the video, you'll know how to output the humidity and temperature readings to an SSH terminal like PuTTY and also to an LCD display. Let's start by connecting the DHT11 to the Pi so we can get the temperature and humidity output to an SSH terminal. I've got a couple breadboards with my Pi here. I'm gonna insert the DHT11 into the smaller breadboard. Now I'm gonna insert a jumper wire from the negative pin of the DHT11 and connect it to the ground pin of the Pi, pin six. All the Raspberry Pi pin numbers I'll be talking about here are the pin numbers on the board. Now I'll connect the VCC pin of the DHT11 to the 5 volt pin of the Pi, pin 2. Then I'll connect the signal pin of the DHT11 to pin 7 of the Pi. Okay, now that that's connected, let's look at a C program that will get the temperature and humidity from the sensor and output it to an SSH terminal. I'm using PuTTY, so I'll just log into my Pi here. I've got a post on the Circuit Basics blog with all the example code and wiring diagrams, so you can go there to copy these example programs if you want. There are two different variants of the DHT11. One is mounted to a PCB and has three pins, and the other has four pins and isn't mounted to a PCB. The pinouts are different, so make sure you connect the pins according to which type you have. I'll be using Wiring Pi to control the GPIO pins in the C program. I'm assuming you already have Wiring Pi installed in your Pi. If you don't though, just Google how to install it. There's lots of tutorials that make it really easy. I'm going to copy our C program for SSH terminal output of the temperature and humidity readings. We need to save this code in a file that has a .c extension. I'll enter sudo nano example.c to create a new file with the .c extension. Now just right click to paste that code in there. Control X to save and exit. Now we need to compile the example.c program. And we can do that with this command right here. Now to run the program, we can enter sudo dot forward slash example. So now the temperature and humidity is being output to the terminal at one second intervals. This shows Celsius and Fahrenheit. The humidity is percent relative humidity. Pressing control C will exit the program. Okay, now let's check out a C program that will output the temperature and humidity readings to an LCD display. First, I should show you how to connect the LCD to the Pi. I'm going to insert my LCD into the larger breadboard. Now I'll insert a 10K potentiometer for the contrast. And another 10K potentiometer for the backlight brightness. Now I'll connect the jumper wire from the VSS pin of the LCD to the negative rail of the breadboard. Then I'll connect the VDD pin of the LCD to the positive rail of the breadboard. I'll connect the VO pin of the LCD to the center pin of the contrast potentiometer. Then I'll connect the RS pin of the LCD over to pin 37 of the Pi. Next I'll connect the RW pin of the LCD over to the negative rail of the breadboard. Then 
and the E pin of the LCD over to pin 35 of the Raspberry Pi. Next, I'll connect the data pins in 4-bit mode, so we'll only need to use data pins D4 to D7. I'm going to use a ribbon cable. I'm connecting data pin D4 of the LCD to pin 33 of the Pi, LCD pin D5 to pin 31 of the Pi, LCD pin D6 to pin 29 of the Pi, and LCD pin D7 to pin 23 of the Pi. Now I'm going to connect the A pin, the second to the last pin of the LCD, to the center pin of the backlight brightness potentiometer. Now I'll take another jumper wire and connect the K pin of the LCD, the last pin on the LCD, to the ground rail of the breadboard. Next I'll connect one of the outer pins of the backlight brightness potentiometer to the positive rail of the breadboard. It doesn't matter which side you connect, it only changes which direction the knob turns, increase or decrease the backlight brightness. Next I'll connect one side of the contrast potentiometer to the negative rail of the breadboard. Same here, the side you choose just determines whether clockwise or counterclockwise turns the knob, turn up or down the contrast. Now I'll connect the positive rail of the breadboard to the 5 volt pin of the Pi, pin 2. Then I'll connect the negative rail of the breadboard to the ground pin of the Pi, pin 6. So now I'll insert the DHT11 into the smaller breadboard. I'll connect a jumper wire from the 5 volt pin of the DHT11 over to the positive rail of the larger breadboard. Then I'll connect the ground pin of the DHT11 to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now I'll connect the signal pin of the DHT11 to pin 7 of the Pi. Okay, now we're ready to load our C program and get the humidity and temperature readings output to the LCD display. Here's our example program, so I'll just copy it. And instead of re-entering all my commands, I can just use the up arrow to show the commands that I used before. So I'll choose my sudo nano example.c command from before. I'll just clear out this old code with control K and paste in the LCD code. Now I'll compile the new code and run it. So now the humidity and temperature readings are displayed on the LCD. Temperature is in Fahrenheit, but if you want Celsius, scroll down to line 72. and uncomment it, then comment out the line below that. Save, compile, and run it. Now the temperature is in Celsius. All right, that was programming the DHT11 in C. Now let's program it in Python. I'll be using the DHT Python library from Adafruit to drive the DHT11. There are a few things we need to do to install it. The library is downloaded with git. So if you don't have git installed on your Pi already, enter sudo apt-get install git-core at the command prompt.
Now enter this command to download the Adafruit DHT library. After that's finished, enter cd adafruit underscore python underscore dht to change directories to where the library was downloaded. Now enter sudo apt-get install build essential python dev. Okay, now we can install the library. Enter sudo python setup.py install. Now we're ready to use the DHT11 with Python. I've got an example program here that will output the temperature and humidity values to an SSH monitor like PuTTY. Let me just copy this. Enter cd to get back to the root directory. And I'll create a new file with a .py extension. I'll call it example.py. Now I'll paste that code in here. and enter sudo python example.py to run the program. So now the temperature and humidity readings are printed to the monitor once per second. Press control C to exit the program. Okay, good. Now let's get those sensor readings to display on an LCD. We've already connected the LCD and the C programming part, so all we need to do is install another Python library to drive the LCD. The best Python LCD library I've found is the RPLCD library. It's easy to install and it's easy to use too. We'll be downloading it from the Python package index, or pip. If you already have pip installed in your Pi, just skip this step. But if not, enter sudo apt-get install python-pip at the command prompt. After pip is installed, install the rplcd library by entering sudo pip install rplcd. Okay, now let's run this example program. I'll just copy this. and paste it into our example program. I'll enter sudo python example.py to run it. And you can see here the temperature is displayed on the top line and humidity is displayed on the bottom line. Okay, well I think that about covers it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed it. Okay, talk to you next time. Bye-bye.